one lecture slide that was 180 slides. Damn! What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So you guys, um, you know, we talk about PA school test is hard. You have no idea. And I had talked about, you know, like how I'm like studying and how long I study and things of that nature. But I wanted to share with you guys like three just really quick, simple test taking tips for PA school. So with respect to taking tests in PA school, obviously you're gonna have to study and you're gonna have to study a lot. So that is a no brainer. But the important thing is studying like actually effective, like effective study habits um, and just doing that in a way that's going to be beneficial for you give you enough sleep give you enough information so that you can ace your exam my like first tip for taking tests in pa school is knowing the type of studier that you are okay so if you are a group studier then don't study by yourself you know um, and obviously that is going to take a little bit of time um, usually probably like that first two weeks that you have your first exam in pa school you'll figure out if you're a group studier or if you're going to continue to study by yourself or vice versa because how you studied in undergrad and in high school is not how you're going to study in PA school for the most part. You may keep some aspects of it. You may, you know, write notes the same or highlight the same, but in terms of actually trying to retain that information, it might be better for you to switch up your style. So making sure that you understand the type of studier that you are is important to just kind of being an excellent test taker um, and just doing the best that you can do on your PA school exams. My number two tip for studying in PA school is having a study guide. So it's really, 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 really important to have a study guide and have like your study materials. So, you know, my study guide consists of literally that, a study guide, like a paper study guide that I have, and then also um, pants. The PA must take a general certification exam known as the Physician Assistant National Certifying Exam, or PANTS. PANTS! <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all better get ready for your pants exam. <laughs> hey, lady, where are your pants? Uh, pants prep pearls, and then some of like the different study cue banks that I I kind of pull questions from and I write them down and I study those question stems. But having a study guide is very important because it breaks things down and like it makes it really, really kind of condensed coming from all of the information that you're gonna get through those slides, but breaking it down into your study guide or looking at it via pants is very important to just making it a lot more attainable and retainable um, with respect to studying for the exam that's coming up. Because like my ortho, exam, which was on all things ortho, but I had ortho slides, which was from one lecture that was like 180 slides. How are you going to get all that information? And so you really have to do a good job of breaking that down. Um, so make sure you have a good study guide and some great study materials adjunct to that to help you condense down the information that you're getting. And then it's going to just be a better option for you when you have to regurgitate it and bring it back to memory on these exams. And my number three tip um, that you should actually I think it's really important just in general, but that you should do to help with your studying for PA school is going over the slides at least twice. So I know that's difficult. It sounds hard. Like you're going to have a lot of slides. Just like I just said, I had a one lecture slide that was 180 slides. Damn. But the more times that you see that information, the better. So if you're able to go through the slides twice, the first time you go through it, mark down the information for your study guide. The second time you go through it, look for any type of important bolded, underlined, italicized, starred information that the teachers may have put on that inf um, on that those study sets. Then you can add that as well as adjunct to your study guide that you just made. 
but going over that information more than once is essential. You cannot sit up here in school, have the teacher kind of just going through the slides and think that that's gonna be enough for you to get the information down. You definitely need to go over it at least two more times on your own so that you're familiar with the topics, but then you're familiar with the information and how it was laid out on the slide for those of you who are visual learners. And then you can also add that in in, all, in your adjunctive therapy, I guess you could say, your study therapy to the study guides that you just made. So um, definitely do that. Don't, don't procrastinate on that um, and just kind of keep ahead on it because you're gonna get a lot of in information thrown at you and it's important for you to be ahead of the curve with respect to that. Those are my tips. You definitely need to know the type of study you are, um, have a study guide and go over that information more than once to keeping ahead um, of your studying and your exams and your your tests um, because it's just going to be beneficial so i hope those are helpful for those of you who are going through this right now or preparing to go through it and for those of you who are in undergrad maybe this might help you in how you're studying for your undergraduate degree as well and it might be just a more effective way for you to study all right so thank you guys so much for asking that um, and if you have any other questions go ahead and leave that in the comment section below i'll be sure sure to get to it as soon as I can, of course. And um, thank you guys again for joining me on this journey. If you haven't already done so, go ahead, join me right now and subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.